Guys, 20 years I've been waiting for this moment and I can finally say I've got a garage. There is so much to do here in this house and this garage and the little bit of land that surrounds it. It's almost overwhelming. Let me give you a quick... That's just the tip of the iceberg. Look at the garden. Let me get out of your way. All of this stuff. I'm gonna have a little walk up here. Got stuff in there. Got stuff over there. I mean, the thing is, I like, you know, having things, but this is just off the hook. Right. Before I take you in here, let me give you a quick, the quick story of what happened. Basically, the two brothers that lived here, their father passed away. He was. Uh, really into biking back in the 60s and 70s and uh, actually I just found a pick upstairs when I was cleaning out upstairs a little pick check this out so <clears throat> what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll send that back to the previous owner they might want that so anyway the guy basically said to me look my father's passed away he's had all these tools they're not much use to me come and see what you want what you don't want bin, if what you do want keep. When I went into the garage, I could not believe my, right, let's have a look. Right, let me flip you around. It's very dark in here. So, I managed to get the bike in today, first time ever. So let's just have a quick rundown. So you've got tool cases there, you've got old paint, you've got Shelving up here, washers, screws, nuts, bolts, old coffee jars, brooms, shovels. Then over here, you've got all these little selection boxes. I haven't looked through any of this stuff yet. All this stuff, jars full of nails, weird things. I love that talking though. I'll be keeping that, I think. Uh, hand tools, old picture frames, look I'll just shut up and you can have a look, I mean, look at that, look at this one, oh my goodness, every single thing has got tools in it. And he's given them to me. On the house. What the hell is that? No idea what that is. So yeah, I'm going to have to... It's so... It's so sort of... Overwhelming. I mean, I've got all the time in the world to do it. And this is a problem that I like to have. Um, so I'm just going to start at one end two bags, one to keep, one to bin, and just do a shelf at a time, and just methodically go through it. Then I've got to do the floor. I mean, I shouldn't have really brought the bike in because there's a lot of old screws on the floor and stuff like that. But you know, I just wanted to get it in here. So, that's where we're at. And also, look, he's got a, he's got a vice on this quite solid table. It's brick built. All these tools down here, boxes of tools in there, stuff up here.
crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. And the flooring underneath, I mean this bit here is a bit dodgy, but I think what he's done is he's put he's put wood flooring. Now this roof is leaking, only a little bit, but it's been raining really heavy the last couple of days. So I've put a couple of buckets down, not to save the carpet obviously, but just to just to give it a helping hand, try and make it dry up a little bit. I've kept the door open, let the air pass through. So, <clears throat> there you go. It's been a while since I've uploaded a video. The reason being, this house has been so difficult to get because of its history. Um, there's a lot of to and fro in with the solicitors, back and forth. So from the minute we put an offer in, until yesterday it's taken us six months six months to move in and purchase well to purchase a house and move in that's not normal but anyway i'm so glad i persevered with this house the, the i won't show you the actual house itself because you know that's not really what this channel is about i just wanted to show you the garage the house is lovely as well 30 semi-detached free bed the garden's lovely, albeit it's a complete jungle at the moment. I mean, look at that. Look at that. So, <clears throat> all that ivy's got to go out there. The whole garden's going to get cleared out. The roof is going to be replaced because it's asbestos. Very bad stuff. Very dangerous. And I've just noticed up here. Yeah, the roof is definitely going to have to get replaced. Look at that beam up there, look. Hi Daylight, how are you? So, this is a... Yeah, that's absolutely knackered. So, yeah, so that would insult him. So much stuff, honestly. Oh, bin bags, that's handy. I need some of them. All right, let's get out. It's a bit musty in there, as you can imagine. And also, sorry about this, guys. Found this bloody, look at that. Bloody, uh, what's it called? Like a, a butcher's chopper thing. Cleaver. Butcher's chopper. That's something different altogether, that is. Yeah, there's a pickaxe in there. Loads of stuff I won't need. An old lawnmower. I mean, this place doesn't need a lawnmower, it needs dynamite and a chainsaw. Oh, so I'm just, I've just been here for the last couple of days, just cleaning, stripping the walls, getting the carpets out, getting the old lino out from the toilet, that was gross. There's a guy coming Tuesday to do a garden clearance, so hopefully all of this should go. It's going to cost me money, but, you know, it'd be worth it. Uh, so Monday I'm going to do, I'm going to sort the garage out and we're going to go through stuff and I'll bring you along and show you what's what. Uh, and that's kind of it. Yeah. My God, this ivy looks everywhere. This is all going to come down. Every single little bit of it. So there you go. That is the garage in its raw state. This is the first time... Uh, I've put the bike in. Uh, I've just lost for words. I'm knackered, but I'm excited. I'm happy. See you next week, guys. Adios. Bye. What the hell was that that just flew into my mouth? Ugh. Like a moth or something. Ugh.